how's it going you guys new age here with our next week of wonder trade weekly where's the box that i'm trying to use there we go there we go so this week we're wonder trading uh omanites because i don't know i've been on this thing lately where i've uh i've been using the showdown teams for the gym leaders and i really want to like make those teams on my game like brock's team i really like that team like, the Omastar does so much work, the Shuckle, uh, uh, <laughs> I need me a Shuckle, I need me a Shuckle, and then the Tyranitar, oh my gosh, I have a Tyranitar, but for one, I don't have the Mega Stone, I don't know where that went, and two, mine's an attacking one, but the specially defensive Tyranitar, oh my gosh, I just want to, like, make that and use it on every single freaking water Pokemon in the whole world, it's so amazing, I love it. So our first Pokemon is a Charmander, not bad. So, uh, I also have, uh, there's, there's like two of them. There's like two of them that'll, that have four IVs. And those ones have Hidden Power Grass. Because Hidden Power Grass is, uh, the one that I kept for myself. I kept a four IV one for myself. So, you'll notice sometime throughout this video, one of them is like somewhere near the top and then the other one's more near the bottom. Uh, so if you're interested in that, that's what it has, uh, Hidden Power of Grass. Just, that's what I use, so I figured I got, a f I only got three of them. One of them I kept, and then the other two I decided to throw in, if you guys wanted that. So, that's what's in the box. Actually, I don't even know if I put that on Twitter, <laughs> that I'm starting Wonder Trade. I put it on Instagram this time for once. Let's see, though. Uh, I actually... I can't wait for you guys to see Battle Spot tomorrow because I have a few new Pokemon that I trained up and I'm so excited to use them. So excited. So if you could hear I'm gonna move that. I have like the fan blowing on me. I don't know if you could just hear like a silent like in the background. We got a squirtle named Steve. Okay, let me put this on, on Instagram for you guys real or, on Twitter. Damn it. I hate just two social media things to maintain. So I haven't even been posting on there lately because I've just been like unable <laughs> to grasp. I want to get a Bulbasaur next. Unable to grasp this YouTube thing lately. Don't know why. Wonder Trade Weekly. Starting right now. Oh, yeah. There you go. That's not how you spell Omanite. <laughs> oh man. Oh, did I get a Bulbasaur? That's close enough. That's close enough, right? I am cool with this plant looking thing being my Bulbasaur. Also, I gotta put my phone on vibrate. Have not had that happen to me in a while where my phone goes off in the middle of a recording. That is progress right there. Also, uh, I am doing this one solo. No girlfriend, no nobody with me. Again, I'm so lonely now. Uh, uh, <laughs> also, my friend who I would normally battle, well, my friends who I would normally battle, my girlfriend's at work, uh, my other friend is taking care of her grandma or something like that, and my other friend, I got sick. So... I don't really want to ask her because I feel bad, but uh, yeah, so I have no one to battle right now, uh, and I didn't really have the time to schedule it with someone else, but I feel like I'm cool with that. Instead of scheduling, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take what I can get, I guess, <laughs> and throw some items on the Pokemon and hop online and try and battle a real life random person not in a Wonder Cup battle. Well, I'll be using a Wonder Cup team, but they can use, you know, <laughs> whatever. And we'll see how that goes. So look forward to that later. Should be all kinds of fun. But yeah. Also, if you guys are watching this but didn't see the post, the shiny giveaway for Instagram ended today. So if you did uh, 
enter, I have you guys on the list, but I have your YouTube names. So, somehow comment somewhere so I can get your friend code. I think like two or three of you guys, I already have your friend code because it was people that I already had added. Uh, but, if you think that I don't have it, just go, go ahead and leave it somewhere on any of my videos or something. So I can get your shiny to you because I'm giving those away today. Don't worry, if you don't get it today, I'm not going to give it away to anyone else. I'll keep them on hold until you get them. But uh, as for that, giveaway is over, guys. And uh, I'll probably put it up after this video. After I record, yeah. So uh, if you guys want to enter my Twitter shiny giveaway, because I told you I was doing one for Instagram one for Twitter, you could do that. Except this one is a little bit more strict, not really for uh, any reason, more just for the fact that to enter, you guys need to retweet the tweet. So you do need an Instagram. <laughs> I get them mixed up. You do need a Twitter to enter this one, unlike the first one where you honestly didn't really need anything. Uh, so yeah, you can check that out too. All kinds of fun, shinies for everybody, and you know, other stuff. Also I've been thinking about Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire coming out. I'm getting so hyped. Also I was like, man, it's going to take me forever to beat the game if I'm beating it like in recordings and stuff but I was like nah screw that I'm just gonna beat the whole thing in like two days and record it in like 30 minute segments and that way I'll have like all the videos of the entire let's play for you guys and that won't have to make me hold back on playing it cuz I'll be damned if I'm only gonna play that game like 30 minutes a day not gonna happen I'm gonna play that thing non-stop I can't wait <laughs> I can't wait I'm so excited I'm also excited to battle whoever I'm going to battle <laughs> with this Wonder Cup team. I don't think I've gotten anything good so far. Yeah, I mean, we got we got this guy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Enjoy the Omanites, everybody. So, as usual, how it works is like the Pokemon that I breed for Wonder Trade, I attempt to train them throughout the week so that way they could be on next week's episode of Battle Spot and just add it to my team of trained Pokemon. So, next week, as long as I have time, may have an Omastar for you guys. Or maybe not, I might decide to record two episodes of Battle Spot. Because I have not been ahead on Battle Spot or Battle Mason lately, I've just been doing them on the day. But, that's not really too bad, because it's only once a week, so I don't really care. Volbeat, I'm cool with some Vol v v v Volbeat. If it has Prankster. Oh, speaking of, if it has Prankster, my girlfriend was trying to breed for a shiny Cottony, right? Get this, get this, get this, guys, get this. She got one after like 20 eggs, and she still had like half a box to hatch, and she was like, oh, why well, still have half a box to hatch? Let me hatch this. Totally had another shiny Cottony within that like half of the box. She got two shiny Cottonies in like one box basically I was like damn that is impressive and shiny whimsicott is amazing I love shiny whimsicott all my friends getting shinies all over the place my friend who I told you I, I think I told you she was trying to hatch for a, a female esper and they were all coming out males so she finally got her female meaning in total after like a thousand eggs she got four shiny espers three of them boys one of them girl and then my friend who was trying to hatch for a shiny mudkip, she also got a shiny mudkip. That one took her a long time though. That took her like a thousand eggs also. I want to say a thousand eggs. Just to get the one shiny. I feel like I should try and hatch myself a shiny. But then again, I kind of get shinies a lot. Whether it's from breeding randomly or... It's just... It's catching one in the wild. And actually, I have a new shiny for you guys. Probably won't be on Battle Spot today. I do have a new shiny for Battle Spot. Or not today, tomorrow. I do have a new shiny for Battle Spot, but not the one I'm talking about. I was trading, uh, you know who you are. <laughs> one of my, uh, one of the people that I battled, who I'm pretty sure watches the channel. Uh, one of the people who I battled a while back, I went online and he uh, offered to trade, trade me. 
And I was like, oh, sure, I could go for some trading right now. So, he ends up uh, trading me a shiny Spinda, and I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to use this. Even though I looked into it and Spinda's stats are horrible, but I don't care. Shiny Spinda, it was named Sprinkles. That's so perfect. I love it. I love it. So, once I get that thing EV trained, I'm, I'm going to use that. Kind of want to use it in the, in the Battle Mason, because of its stats being so bad, I'm just like, Spinda just screams double battle. I want to use it so bad. Especially Teeter Dance, that's a thing. Oh yeah. Oh, and that Modest Laron, thank you. I wanted to do Modest Omanites, but I didn't have anything to give them Modest Nature to pass it on. So I just bred a batch of them, and the first one ended up being timid, so I was like, for sure. I love when you're breeding for Pokemon and you just get like those, like, there's those random natures that no one's ever heard of, and then one day you like hatch a batch of Pokemon and they're all just like those perfect natures that you want. Well, not perfect natures, but all like the good ones. Like that first batch of Omanites, I had like timid, two impish. Uh, I think I had like an adamant one and a jolly one. Timid, two ambush, adamant, jolly. Yep, yep, that's five. That's five, alright. And we got a gibble. I love getting gibbles. I want to breed <laughs> another gibble because I don't have a physical one with choice, uh, with choice skin, with rough skin. <laughs> but I already have one physical one with Sam Vale, and then I have my special attacking one. So that'll be a third Garchomp. I'll be adding, adding on to my team of Garchomp. I also like how Gibble ended up right underneath the bite. If we get a Garchomp over this Wonder Trade, I'm totally using all three of them against random passerby person. I don't know if I'm gonna even do a theme for this because if I'm going up against someone online, I'll have to kind of just get the best of what I got. But we'll see. I mean. I don't really care if I lose these battles, because it's just a Wonder Cup battle, so all in good fun. So, I might just do, stick with the theme teams. We got the Hone Edge. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. There we go. Let's see what other kind of good stuff we could get. Also, I'm pretty glad that I got my time down on Wonder Trade, or at least I think I did. Damn, it's already been 12 minutes. How far am I? I feel like I'm not halfway. No. I mean, I guess just about. I was about to say, I'm glad I got this down to like 30 minutes now for all the Wonder Trading. That makes the whole episode be... Oh, sorry about that, guys. That makes the whole episode be like around 45 minutes. I'm cool with that. I am so cool with that. Also, I've been excited from playing through Ruby and just seeing all the stuff that I'm like, man, I can't wait. I can't wait for this game to come out. It's going to be so good. Part of me wants to put Smash Brothers on my channel, but that's not that's not really a Pokemon now. Oh, one of the things I wanted to do, I need Arena. I can honestly say I've never gotten a neat arena over Wonder Trade. Hmm. Alright. Anyways. My girlfriend told me what she wants to do for Christmas. What she wants to get me. Uh, I had to get a new DS with the capture card on it. Already on it. Because uh, the guy who sells the capture cards was sold out of them. So I uh, couldn't send in my DS to get a capture card on it. I had to buy one with with it already on. So what she wanted to do for me was get my other DS uh, a capture card on it. Which would be cool because in a sense it's like I don't have to keep this one then. I can just go back to using my old one. But at the same time I kind of want to keep this one too. Uh, also because she wouldn't give it to me till Christmas. Meaning I would have to buy Sapphire on this game. But since this is a UK DS, it's going to cost me 70 bucks. Meaning, uh, if I buy it, if I get the capture card on the other DS, that means I could start buying the cartridges again instead of having the digital downloads 
for, you know, whatever game comes after Ruby. Which I'd be cool with, because I like having the cards. The, the game cards. I feel like I actually own it that way, you know? But then again, I love having X version just in my DS. And then when I have Sapphire, I could just, like, switch between X and Sapphire whenever. That would be super cool. Then again, I'm going to have to get Pokebank, because <laughs> it's all in the same game, so there's no way for me to for me to trade over my Pokemon on this game to freaking Sapphire. But, you know, I was going to say, it'll be cool, because on my old DS, I have Pokemon Battle Trazi, and then... I wanted to get Art Academy, but then when the other game came out, or when I had to get this DS, Art Academy, you know, it's more expensive because of the exchange rate for money, so I didn't want to buy it anymore. So I'll totally buy it on my other DS, because I would, I would love to put that kind of stuff on my channel too. Like, even though it's not directly Pokemon, I still like playing those games. Like, Battle Trazi, oh my gosh, I was hooked on that for like two weeks straight, until I got to like the very end, and then it gets like impossible to win. It's so hard at the end, and then I haven't touched it since then. But I mean, those two weeks of nonstop playing, if I recorded it in like 15 minute segments or something, I would get some serious, some, some serious uh, footage going. Uh, also, my laptop is saying it's not connected to the internet, so my DS might disconnect from the internet. <clears throat> that is a legitimate fear I have. If it does, uh, no worries, I'm just gonna pause the recording real quick and then get right back to you guys giving you guys a little warning even though that's weird because this happened to me before in one of my videos where it disconnected the internet from my laptop but my DS was just like cool the whole time so if that's the case I mean alright but yeah Battle Trazi I wouldn't mind bringing that back wouldn't mind playing that again for a little bit at the same time I like to play games like without knowing how to play them you know because it's so much more fun that way like you guys get to see me learn how to play i think that's cool also my girlfriend told me that mystery dungeon is on sale which if i had my capture card on my other ds i would totally buy it because if i buy it with this game with this ds it's still gonna be like super expensive like more than i want to pay it was like 37 or 38 and now it's like 24 so that's gonna be somewhere like like 40 bucks for a mystery dungeon for me to buy it on this DS 40 45 bucks so not really trying to do that but I would love to play those games for you guys because it's Pokemon so still Pokemon channel doesn't mean it all has to be Ruby and Sapphire even though it will be don't worry once that game comes out, I will be all about that life. I'm actually thinking the channel may start to get pretty popular around that time. Because I'm going to slow down a bit on Pokemon Showdown once, those, uh, once that comes out. And damn near every single segment on this channel is going to be Omega Ruby and After Sapphire. So, like now how X and Y is more of like a weekend thing. That's only because I'm in school, so it's actually easier for me to put Showdown out for you guys. But, man, by the time that game comes out, I'll be just about done with school. Oh, it's going to be on. It is going to be on. This channel's, uh, you will have your fill of Omega Ruby and After Sapphire, I guarantee you. Which is cool, because I didn't start this channel till <laughs> like, way after X and Y came out, so... I kind of missed the train on that one. Even though people still enjoy it. You guys go crazy over my wife of battles. And battle spot. Pretty much anything that's X and Y. <laughs> for, a, for a bit, I actually thought people weren't too interested in watching the Wonder Trade videos. Which I, which I get, because it's long. So, you know, if you don't want to watch it, it's not for everyone. I understand that. But... You guys have been watching it. I've been getting just as many views on these that I do on my Wi-Fi battles, so not too bad. Give yourselves a pat on the back. I'm proud of you guys. It came from me. 
the pat that you are giving yourself came from me. Just pretend that my hand is your hand patting your back with my hand. You're welcome. You're welcome. You deserved it. No need to thank me. Oh, I almost unplugged my... My DS. Also, if you guys didn't see, if you don't follow me on Instagram, my girlfriend knows a lot of artsy people. She too is an artsy person. She does like all the art for my channel. And she met up with one of her friends who does pixel art at AX. And she totally agreed to make me a shiny Aegislash charm for my DS. I posted a picture of it on Instagram, but I just cannot stop staring at it. It looks so cool. I love it so much. I swear Aegislash is like one of my favorite Pokemon. I don't even know why. I just love it. I just love it. I love the charm. It's so cool. And my girlfriend made me this thing. I'll put a picture of it for you guys on Instagram and Twitter. So if you guys follow me on either one of those, you can see it. I won't be able to put it till like after this weekend though, because I left it at home. And now I'm at my girlfriend's house. But yeah, she made me a case for my games, for my DS games, and it has like Age of Slash on the front. <laughs> it is, it's so beautiful. The only thing I need left in my life now is an Age of Slash plushie. I need that so bad. Especially because I could play with it like it was a sword too. <laughs> Yeah, just grab Age Slash by the head and swing him around and stab people with his plushy, sharp sword. I need that in my life. I need that. Someone let me know if they already have Age Slash, Slash plushies. I need to see this. Also, I haven't been much of a Pokemon card collector. Like, I love the cards because they look super cool. But I never collected them. Just, well, I collected them when I was a kid. But not since I've been older, just because it's, it's too much money to put into that kind of stuff. But my girlfriend works at Target, so she gets, like, discounts on stuff. So she bought me my first pack of Pokemon cards that I've gotten in, like, the longest time. And I love it. I want to see if she can give me more. <laughs> also, for, like, Pokemon TCG Online... The only reason I haven't uploaded that, even though I said I was, was because it's so hard to get cards. I swear. Every time I battle online, I lose. So bad. Because, you know, I mean, for those of you guys who know, battling people on, on that website is just like whoever has the strongest EX cards in their deck. And I don't have enough of those to make a deck out of it. So, I had to go with, you know, let me evolve my Pokemon slowly as you murder the rest of my team kind of strategy. And it's just so bad. So, I don't know, maybe if I end up getting more packs in the future, and I get the codes, and I can use that to get packs and all that stuff, someday I want to put it on the channel. Don't know how soon that will be, though. Because I do enjoy it, it's super cool, just... I want it to be a series where there's a chance of me winning, you know? As opposed to just like, hey, here's the next episode, guys. I bet you can't guess who wins, because it's not me. And just have like, current record, zero wins, 50 losses, have yet to win one battle yet. Like, even I've played, I've played on there. And so many times I've come so close to winning. And then they're just like, nope, I still have way better cards than you. So you lose. And it just crushes my spirit. <laughs> like, I just, it, it doesn't, it, it's not happening. It's not happening, guys. It's not happening. Hey, we got a Volby and a Illumis. Mis. I don't know how to say his Pokemon's name. I always call it Illumise. Illumise. Illumis. I don't know. Those Pokemon names where it's like, is it one word or does it sound like it's two words? I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me. So far, I don't think I've gotten anything, like, extraordinary to use. 
that neat arena is very tempting for whatever reason. <laughs> Maybe I could like evolve it real quick, no one will notice. No, I'm just kidding. That's against the rules. It's against the rules, guys. You can't use a moonstone on Wonder Traded Pokemon. If you ever get a Pokemon over Wonder Trade, don't don't give it a moonstone. That's illegal. That's cheating. And I don't want any part in that. Oh yeah. Hey, a Shuppet. I need to breed me one of those too. Wonder if it's a good one. That's what I love. I love Pokemon. Get. I love Pokemon. I'll just leave it at that. Now, I love Wonder Trading. You get all those great Pokemon that you can just like. Here. This is a Pokemon that's almost done being bred perfectly. Enjoy. Adamant Shadow Sneak knockoff. I like it. Can't. Does it have to be bred Destiny Bond, or is that just the thing that you can do? I want like Destiny Bond and Will O Wisp or something. I don't know. I think the only reason I haven't bred one is because I keep hearing how it's so bad. Even though that doesn't really matter to me. It's kind of just gotten me to not breed it, I guess. Because I love Bayonet. And Mega Bayonet? Huh. Beautiful. Love it. Oh, Trico! I will be wonder trading Tricos at some point. <clears throat> but I've decided not to breed my Trico until, like, right before Ruby and Sapphire comes out. Because... Dragon Pulse for uh, Sceptile was a thing that was a... It was a transfer move. There you go. So, Sceptile can't learn Dragon Pulse on its own. So I'm waiting to find out if they're gonna make it... I'm waiting to find out if they're gonna make it so he learns Dragon Pulse in the new game on its own. Like how, like, Ampharos does. Or if they're gonna... Uh, bring back move tutors or something so I don't know I'm just indecisive I know for sure I'm getting Trico I just I don't know I don't know why I'm waiting I figure I'm just gonna breed like a timid one or something and call it a day but I don't know can't wait for Mega Sceptile either uh, I just love Sceptile in general the fact that I got a Mega Sceptile is like the coolest Pokemon ever. So much swag! I need to figure out a name. A nickname for my Sceptile. Swag Tile? No. <laughs> that doesn't sound cool. Sep. Sep. Septa Swag. Swagception. He's got swag inside of swag inside of swag. No. We'll see. We'll see. I'll get it when the time comes. I feel like I'm better at making up nicknames on the spot. Like if you guys didn't see it, my Ruby randomizer, caught pretty sure caught two Pokemon in the yeah, caught two Pokemon in that episode. Best nicknames ever. I'm so good at nicknaming Pokemon. I didn't even know I was good at nicknaming until I started doing Let's Plays for the channel. <laughs> The names might be horrible to you guys, but I enjoy them. How many more do we have? Gil Hermit! Dig it! Let's see what we get. Come on, Gil Hermit. Give me something good. A Digger's Bee. Aw. Oh. Know what me and my girlfriend were saying earlier? Uh. Because we were talking about how Low Bunny might be in like the new game. Because uh, you know, in Ruby and Sapphire, they they have three generations of Pokemon to throw into the wild, so it's not going to be the same wild Pokemon as Ruby and Sapphire. <coughs> so I was saying, yeah, Buneary will probably be a Pokemon you could just catch in the grass early on in the game. And then she was asking me if anyone had ever done like Bunnelby and Buneary, like fan art stuff. And I was like, oh man, 
That would be so cool if in the next game there was like a double battle. You know how they have those couple trainers where they have like Pokemon that go together? Like a girl will have nine tails and a guy will have Arcanine. And then they're just like, we're in love, we're double battling. So I'm, I'm saying it right here, right now. There's going to be a couple trainer in the next game. And they're going to have a Diggersby and a Low Punny. And it's going to be a double battle and all that good stuff. So, if that happens in the next game, I called it. Maybe we could bet some money on it right now. I don't know. But, you, you guys could choose how much money later. But, just know, you will be giving me that money. Because I called it. I'm pretty good at calling things. You know what? I'm going to share a story with you guys. Even though I'm almost done. Adam and Skill Link, not bad. Even though I'm almost done. Even though I'm almost done. So, I've gotten into... I'm going to take a drink of water. Uh, okay. Before this channel, and I still am now, I was into ROM hacking and making my own ROM hacks and all that good stuff. And before I even knew about X and Y, get this, get this guys, get this guys, I was making my own game, and so many of the features that were new in X and Y were gonna be in my game, and I got so pissed when X and Y came out, and all that stuff that I had planned was in that game, and it just discouraged me, I tossed that game to the side, and have not even worked on it. I love the story for the game. I'll probably do the story. Just like. None of those features that I was going to put. I'm not going to put them in anymore. Here's here's what I had. Get this. First thing. I. Didn't want to have a bike in the game. I decided that I wanted to do something different for once. And I was like skateboard? Nah. Because when you skate it's not really gonna have much of an animation to it and I want it to look cool at the same time so I thought roller skates instead of a bike I'm gonna have that in my game X and Y has roller skates beat me to it I mean not even beat me to it I didn't even X and Y was not even known of when I was making my game but it was just me working on the game so I couldn't put out my game faster by myself than like hundreds of people working on Pokemon. So <coughs> roller skates was the first thing. Second thing, this is what makes me the most mad. I have close friends in my personal life just as everyone does and I told them that they could design their own Pokemon because it was gonna have fake Pokemon and I designed like a hundred of them. and. I told them they could make their own Pokemon and I was going to have a little square patch of grass where you go into this house and then you go into the backyard and those Pokemon that my friends made they could only be caught at that spot and it was like eight Pokemon that were completely exclusive to that one patch of grass and it was called the friendly fields and you could go there and catch the Pokemon that my friends had made specifically for the game on their own, their own design and all that stuff. So, uh, I was gonna make Friendly Fields, and X and Y went ahead and made Friend Safari. So, hey, go me, another one of my ideas stolen. And then last, not as big of a deal, but like I said, I made my own Pokemon. One of them that I made was an Icicle Pokemon, an Icicle Shard Pokemon, just like, uh, whatever it is the one that evolves into Avalong that was mine too it was an icicle spear just like its preform and then my evolution of it was the same as Avalog except like flipped over where the flat side was on the bottom and the sharp side was on the top and then it had like square big giant feet like that and then I also made the first ghost steel type Pokemon but it wasn't a sword it was uh, possessed uh, knight's armor basically a possessed suit of armor and the first one was just kind of like the top of the armor and then it had the mask 
and then it had a little ghosty tail and no feet. And then when it evolved, it was like a full body night suit. So, uh, yeah, they took my ice Pokemon, they also took my ghost and steel Pokemon that I was going to make, because I still love steel type Pokemon at that time. So, I wanted to make some new steel type Pokemon. Uh, so yeah, that's a little story for you guys. If you enjoyed that, go ahead, give this video a like. <laughs> I swear to you, this is all true. I've told this story to my friends before, and they knew I was making that game for like the longest time really don't believe me ask my girlfriend it's so true it's so true it makes me so mad I wanted to give up on life so uh, yeah that was my game I currently have a new game that I'm working on even though I haven't had I, I normally work on it in like chunks so I haven't worked on it in months but then when I go and work on it again I'll also end up working on it for months so but yeah I'll let you guys know more about that at another time at another time. So, we got our box of Pokemon traded. And we got a free tiny mushroom. Give me it. Alright, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, I'm like checking them all for items now. <coughs> Alright. Don't know if I want to do a theme. Is this really a 4 IV? That's not bad. Oh, is this the one that gets Prankster? Growth Baton Pass. <laughs> Which one does growth do again? Special attack and attack. Okay. Special attack and attack. With Tom Pass. <laughs> uh, uh, this is gonna be a disaster. Let's see. Got that. That modest layer on. Oh, that's so horrible. Can't even use that. Got a pretty sweet Zubat, though. With Brave Bird and Defog. Oh, hell yeah. I'm gonna have to breed myself a new Crobat. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's see. Toxic Giga Drain. That's not bad. Synthesis. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think... I don't think I'll go with the theme. <laughs> I think I'll just kind of... <laughs> See if I can throw some stuff together. Let's get that and that and this guy. I was like, "Oh, Town Flame! That's my Town Flame." Uh, whoa! This Froakie has got some cool moves. Smackdown, Fling, Substitute, and Bounce. What? So it could become. A flying, a rock, and a dark? Or is fling normal? I think it's dark. Could become normal from substitute. <clears throat> uh. Zubat? I have no idea what I'm doing right now. This is going to be a disaster. Get some priority. Shadow Sneak Swords Dance. Sassy No Guard. Serious No Guard. But if this one might be too Ivy. Oh, but it doesn't have a sword stance. Damn it. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hang on to that one then. Weakness Policy Hone Edge, anybody? <laughs> I don't know if that'll be a thing. If it is, well, we'll just have to see how that goes. Let's use this really weird Froki that doesn't have protein. Okay. Okay. And some team building. Let's get some team building going on. 
Alright, 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 alright. <clears throat> well. Who's gonna have leftovers? Oh, you could just get black sludge. You don't need leftovers. For sure. And... Rocky helmet. I like it. Weakness policy. Evil light. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's too good. It's too good. Let's see. Then... <laughs> Leftovers. And... Focus Sash. We are on. Okay. So I'm going to try and find a battle. So I will get right back to you guys. Okay guys. I think we got a live one. I think. I think. I think this is happening. So I was just challenging random passerby people. Until I could get someone to battle me. So <laughs> we're going to give this a shot. I'm going to take a picture of his team too. Oh, lovely. It's super competitive. Just what I wanted to see. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. So he's got Ferrothorn, Mandibuds, Charizard, Gliscor, Conkledurt, and Greninja. <clears throat> so. <laughs> you think, you think Brave Bird kills a Conkledurt from a Zubat? I mean, you know, maybe. Alright, so we got attack and special attack increase. I mean, screw it. <laughs> Let's start with our Baton Pass Pokemon. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, if this is a complete disaster. But it, it's fun, right? It's fun. It's fun. That's what we're here for. For fun. Let's see how this goes. Alright, part of me wants to baton pass into Amoongus, but not with that Gliscor running around, or Gliscor, <laughs> not with that Charizard running around, that's what I'm worried about. Alright, <laughs> well, let's go Confuse Ray first, maybe we could stop it from setting up everything, make this Fer Ferrothorn have to stay out a little bit longer, huh? How's that sound? That sound good? Yeah! Alright. Especially too, because we got Focus Sash, so, uh, damn it. So, good news is, we could for sure stay in until we, like, take a hit or some junk. Honestly, <clears throat> if I use growth enough, I might just try and silver win this Ferrothorn. Because, uh, that would be great to get rid of this thing. <laughs> oh, come on! Alright, just take it easy, man. Woo! No, that was way too much damage. Baton pass? <laughs> oh, lovely. Lovely. It's okay. I don't mind being a noob for right now. Or at least seeming to be a n noob? Let's see. I mean, maybe we could set up the, the hone edge and just sweep his whole team. Why do I feel like that's not a thing? Why do I feel like that's not a thing? Also, hone edge won't get the weakness policy off. Let's see. <laughs> oh, this is horrible. I mean, I do got that rocky helmet. I don't think that really matters, though. Especially if he could go out in a Charizard. Let's get that Hone Edge sweep going, maybe. Probably not. Calm down, Ferrothorn. Get confused. I just need it for, like, one turn. Come on! Alright. Alright. Oh, it's got leftovers. That's great. You know what? I'm pretty sure this thing could take a Shadow Sneak just fine, too. Alright, alright. Here we go. Get it! Switch out into something. Oh, thank you. Thank you! Alright, alright. <laughs> Which one is Cory? The Gliscor. He's gonna earthquake me. But not. <laughs> not before. 
I'll get that shadow sneak going. Yeah, let's just go for it, man. Let's see how much it does. <clears throat> Plus three coming at you. <sighs> oh my gosh, that's horrifying. That's right, I'm not Eevee trained or nothing. <laughs> oh, this is horrible. Can you break that sub, Hone Edge? I need you to do it. Ah. Pretty sure you took more damage from. <laughs> took more damage from the substitute than from my attack. Oh, I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to get strong enough to kill me with the earthquake. Please use Sword Stance again. Oh, no. I goofed. I goofed. You can take it, though, right? Nope. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why my hands are getting all sweaty like if I'm actually going to win this battle. <laughs> nah, man, you got this. What? Um. 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 Yeah. You don't want none. You don't want none. Get up on out. I don't want to use fling. That's for sure. <clears throat> Sorry about the mouse. Hey, I died. Oh no. We're gonna get swept by a glide score. Who would have thunk? What you gonna do now? Can't hit Zubat with the earthquake? That's what I thought. Get out of here. Get out of here. There's nothing I can do. Brave Bird? Oh my gosh. It's even worse than I thought. I was hoping that just for a second I could have got someone who was like weaker. But nah. Uh, everyone's on that competitive game. <laughs> the power! Oh, substitute faded. What now? And then I'm gonna hit you with that nice clean hypnosis. And you gonna be screwed. Oh, it's a Charizard X. Oh, <laughs> with swords danced it. Oh my gosh. Wait. Wait. Wait! <laughs> almost. I, I would have taken. I almost took it. I almost, I almost beat him. I almost handled that man. Laron. Let's see how you deal with the Rocky Helmet. You're gonna kill yourself from that Rocky Helmet. And then I'm gonna hit you with an Iron Tail. Bring it on! No, you could take it, Laron. Oh my gosh. Well. Hey, look at all that damage we did. Not bad. Watch out for them stealth rocks. Oh yeah. What you got for me? I got the confused ray. You're gonna hit yourself in confusion with that plus two, and you're gonna die. What do you think about that? How you like them apples? Uh, get 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 out of here, man. Get get out of here. I'm gonna set up all my baton passes and whatnot. You're gonna be screwed. That's right. Withdraw. You ain't got nothing. <laughs> all right, all right. Here's what I'm gonna do. Actually, wait. All right, I'm gonna get super greedy. Go for confuse ray. Hope he doesn't have shadow sneak. Go. Confuse it. It's gonna hit itself. I'm gonna set up like five more. Gross, go out into a Moongus, get my sweep on. Right? Bop! 
Yeah. All right, all right. Real talk, though. I'm going to set up, like, one more growth. <laughs> no. Here we go. Here we go. Most intense battle of the century. Oh, come on, come on. Do it, 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 do it. No! No! That is... That's not what I need to happen right now. I was about to sweep this man's whole team! See... It... It just didn't work, you know? Like... For real? All I had to do was get that set up. I would have been good. I would have been good. He, he would have lost. He would have lost. He would have lost. For sure, he would have lost. Like... That wouldn't, that wouldn't have even mattered. I would have taken it like a chance. Oh my gosh, I'm dead. I would have taken it like a chance. See, got a crit too. I would have survived if... <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed this episode, go ahead and leave a like. If you want to see more, you can subscribe to my channel, New Age Steel. And you can also follow me. No, I don't want to save that. It's already going to be on YouTube. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter where I post first-hand information on when I upload videos to the channel. So until then, I'm New Age Steel. Keep on watching. And, uh... I'll see you guys next time. I'm, where, where's he at? Jesus. I'm a, here you go. Nice battle, brah. Later, guys.